a wire of length 40 centimeters is cut and from the two pieces a square and a and an equilateral triangle is made. Now this is a wire of 40 centimeters. Say this is your wire. This is say A and this is B and the total length is 40 centimeters. It is cut at a point say this is where we are cutting say M is the point we are cutting and from this you are making say a uh, this is an equilateral triangle and from this you are making a square. If the length of the equilateral, find the length of the equilateral triangle so that the sum of the area, sum means addition of the area of square and the equilateral triangle is minimum. Okay, so this is an example of optimization where you do use differentiation. You want to make something minimum. Okay, so here we'll have to write an equation of this that is sum of area in terms of uh, one variable. So we let's say let's say we got an equilateral triangle of length a. So this would be three a. Okay, so you're making this equilateral triangle from this piece from a to m. So if you have an equilateral triangle of length a, this would be three a. So this would this would this much would be forty minus three a. And you're making <coughs> an equilateral as a square from this. So each side is 40 minus 3a divided by 4. So this would also be 40 minus 3a divided by 4. Now area of this, area of say the square would be base times height which is 40 minus 3a over 4 the whole squared. Okay, so this is 40 minus 3a, the whole squared, over 16. So this is the area of the square, a square. Okay, so this is easy. Now, to find the area of this triangle, which is an equilateral triangle, I'm going to split this into two equal parts. So this is, so we know this and this are equal. Okay, so this would be A over 2 and this would also be A over 2. So to find the area of a triangle we need, so this is your base, this is your base that is B and we want to find the hypotenuse. So not the hypotenuse, the height. So this is H, I call this H. So using Pythagoras, can I say H squared is A squared minus this squared which is a squared over 4. So this is a this is you can simplify this to 4a squared over 4 4a squared over 4 minus a squared over 4 so your height your height squared would be 3a squared over 4. So your h would be square root of square root of 3 over 4a squared which simplifies to square root of 3 over 2a okay so your height as a function as an a would be 3 over 2a okay so we need to we need h and base to find the area of the square sorry area of the triangle so area of the I'll do the notation triangle would be half times base, your base is A and your height is root 3 over 2A. So area as a function of A, so I'll write A triangle would be root 3 over 4A squared. Okay, so now let's now come to the question. Find the length of the equilateral triangle. So the question is what is A? The question is, what is A? If A, S, S means sum, is minimum. If you want to have the minimum area, if for, for which value of A would you get the minimum area? That is, you add the area of the uh, equilateral triangle and a, add the area of the square. So let me write A, S, 
guess for some would be root 3 over 4a squared plus 40 minus 3a the whole squared over 16. I want you to expand this and simplify this and I'll come back. So I told you that uh, you can expand this. Hopefully you've expanded this. The expansion would look like this. Okay, so this is root 3 over 4 a squared plus 40 minus a times 40 minus a over 16. That if you expand, this would remain the same. Uh, 40 times 40 is 1600 minus 120a minus 120a plus 9a squared. And that simplifies to this is simplified. Uh, this is simplified to this. The rest is remaining the same. Now expanding with 1 over 16. So 116th of 1600 is 100 minus 240 over 16. Okay, so I made a mistake here. So let me correct the mistake. So this is 240 over 16. Yeah. Okay, so this is 30. Uh, 30 over, this is dividing by 8, so 30 over, uh, 30 over 2a, and so this simplifies to, so we can say area that we are looking for is root 3 over 4a squared, this is minus 15a, okay, so let me write in an order, plus 9a squared over 16 minus 15a plus 100. Okay, I hope you can understand this. I've divided both by 8 here. So, so 240 divided by 8 is 30 and 30 divided by 2 is 15. I want to do without a calculator. So, so now this is where, this is your area of both the square and the equilateral triangle in terms of A, which is the side of the equilateral triangle. Now for minimum area, this is where calculus starts, for minimum area, for min area, dA by dA should be equal to zero. That means if you think about it, this is a, this would be a quadratic equation and the question is, when would this quadratic equation become zero? That means what I'm saying is, if you graph this, this may look, so it will look like this. This would be 100 because your y-intercept is going to be 100. Your y-intercept is going to be 100 here. And then this is the point we want to find. Okay, this is what we want to find. At this point, your gradient your dA, so this is your A, your area, and this is your A on the x-axis. So dA by dA is equal to zero. That's what we are finding. So this is a graphical understanding. We will do this graphically later on. So let's differentiate this. So well, we can say dA by dA uh, using a polynomial. So you drop the power down, so root 3 over 4 times dot means times 2a plus 9 over 16 times 2a times this is also 2a uh, minus 15 and that is equal to 0. So let's simplify this. So this is you can factor the let's factor 2a from this side. So 2a times root 3 over 4 plus 9 over 16 is equal to, I'm going to take this to the other side, is equal to 15. Okay, so your A, to be exact, is 15 over 2 times root 3 over 4 plus 9 over 16. So let's use a calculator to get an a answer, and then we'll check it on a calculator graphically. So, go to menu, run, 15 divided by 2 bracket. This is shift root 3 divided by 4 plus 9 divided by 16. 
which is 7.53. So let's check this. So let's round it to 1 dp. So we'll say this is A should be 7.5 centimeters in 1 dp. Okay, so if A is 7.4, you get the minimum area. So we want this equation. Let's check this graphically. Uh, we need the equation, the whole equation. So go to, oops, uh, okay, so I hope you can see it. So menu, go to graph, and type in the equation, which is shift, shift root 3 x squared divided by 4 plus 9 x squared divided by 16 minus 15 x plus 100. Okay, and then I know the y, well, I'll go from 0 to say 15 because I know minimum is 7, so and uh, I'll go on y, I'll go from 0 to say 100. Or let me say 120 scale of 5. And let's see. The graph goes like this. So let me change from 15, let me make it 30. Okay, so that you can get the whole. So this is what I'm talking about. So let me show you the. So this is what I say your y intercept is going to be 100. So let's, let me show you that. Your y intercept is 100. And G sol, this is minimum. So press F3. Uh, I have done something wrong. Root 304 plus uh, 9x squared minus 15x plus 100. OK, let's. I've done something wrong here. Answer should be 7.53. Okay. Okay, so let me check. Road 3 times. Okay, so probably this is wrong. So let me cancel this. This is, let me press bracket. Oops. Uh, let me put this in bracket. Shift root 3, close the bracket x squared divided by 4 divided by 4 plus 9 plus 9 x squared divided by 16 uh, divided by 16 not 15 16 and let me drag this to this side minus 15 x plus 100. Hopefully, yeah, this is what I wanted. So I, so GSOL and minimum. At 7.53, you get the minimum area of 43.49. Okay, so I should have put square root of 3 inside the bracket. So this is the answer. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. Uh, but I would like you to use calculus to get to the exact answer. Uh, but you can check your answer. You can graph it and then do the calculus and get to the answer.